Alrighty, so I've had some requests on um, how I've implemented the NeoPixels into this um, this tricopter. So just to get out of the way, the the build on this this is an SK450 dead cat conversion frame piece, and this is some aluminum extrusion from Ace Hardware, and that's basically the frame with some zip ties and um, the power handling and ESCs are on the back or on the bottom. It's an Ace32 and um, the open LRS uh, receiver there. The lights on here. So I had just this strip stuff, um, and I've been using that for a lot of lighting and these super bright um, LEDs. And so I guess I can show you this right now. Um, so they are super bright. I was originally used it for night flying, um, but it's fun just to have those during the day too since they're bright enough to be seen. And in the back is this red strip. And then, and that's just this stuff. Um, just like Hobby King LED strips. And uh, I have 3D printed, so maybe I can show you this better with the lights off. Uh, 3D printed a sort of encapsulant or this this sort of just plastic piece to house this the strip and that strip is just in there it's just sitting in there but it makes it nicer for mounting so I'll put that together and that's actually I tried different ways of mounting it and it's just hot glued on there right now that's it um, and then I got these neo pixels so that's what this video is really about is my implementation of these NeoPixels. Now on my other machine I have the NeoPixels plugged into the NACE32 running clean flight and there's some code on there to make the uh, NeoPixels do fun stuff. But I wanted to have like a Cylon light so um, and I knew that I could do that on our Arduino and there's um, code uh, already somebody already made for it. Um, so I have these AT Tiny 85s that it's basically it's just an Arduino it's an Atmel chip that you can program just like you program in an Arduino and uh, and then just take the chip off and use it directly so I have five volts going into this side of the NeoPixel <clears throat> that's the only thing here is the five volts um, and that's the data outside so I'm not using the data pin there but that five volts is supplying power to the chip and the chip is actually um, just using one of the pins as a data out to run the NeoPixel. And that's it. So I just upload the Arduino sketch on there. And um, and then it's actually hot glued in place and, and all soldered up into a socket. So if I want to pr program another light pattern, I just pull the chip. And they're only like a buck fifty a piece. And so now I've bent the leads on the chip but if I don't break a lead off it will be alright so these chips are only like a buck fifty or, or a couple bucks so you don't have to be too careful with them how did I pull that off I don't want to stick it on backwards I think that's right <clears throat> um, and then uh, and then the the Atmel proc just runs the NeoPixels if I've done it I plugged the chip in backwards. So, and I think I blew it. Yeah, it's pretty darn hot. So, I'm gonna stick it in the right way and see what damage I did. Oh, cool, fires up. Okay, so down below are the red LEDs that um, I had before. They're pretty bright. And so then here's the just the Neo Pixels. So I don't know how well that shows up on the video, but it's a blue background with a, a red scanner. And then I actually have it fading away on, at the endpoints, the red scanner. And so, you know, the code is pretty easy to configure to run that in different at different speeds or with different colors or whatever. Um, 
you just pop the chip, put it in the programmer, and change the sketch and load it up and pop it back in. And then you'll have whatever configuration you uh, can figure out how to do. Um, obviously, eventually, I'll just replace this red bar with a double wide two, ne two NeoPixel sticks, or better yet, I'll just get the, the strip of like 30 or 60 NeoPixels or whatever and then just use a section of that. But it's all the same. You can wire it up with a real handy um, configuration or uh, mounting scheme for the Atmel AT Tiny 85. And it's pretty compact and it looks pretty good, in my opinion. It's just kind of a fun thing. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, um, Feel free to comment. Um, thank you very much.